dampening lights. Over 2,600 of this model was built. Well, 1983 introduced the 172 Cutlass. Now, it was given the name Cutlass to create an affiliation with the 172 RG, which is a retractable geared 172. So really, this was just a 172P, but uh, with a Lycoming 0360 A4N engine of 180 horsepower. We're going up another 20 horsepower. It also had a gross weight of 2,550 pounds and an optional cruise speed of 122 knots compared to the 172P's cruise speed of 120 knots. It had a useful load that was about 100 pounds more than the Skyhawk P and a rate of climb that was actually 20 feet per minute lower due to the higher gross weight. And then there was a Cutlass II that was offered as a deluxe model. Um, and they called it the Cutlass II slash nav pack with IFR equipment. So basically an IFR platformed Cutlass. And that was produced alongside the 172P for 1983 and 1984. And that was a kind of a shortly lived model with that name. Now, this is where we have the pause, and uh, so from between 1986, or actually we should say 1987 and 1995, no 172s were produced. Then in 1996, the reintroduction of the 172, the 172R Skyhawk R came out. It had a Lycoming IO360 L2A with a maximum horsepower of 160 on 2400 RPM. And this was the first Cessna 172 to have a factory fitted fuel injected engine. So this is really a big deal. So now we've got a fuel injected engine. So that's where the I um, in the engine comes from, IO versus 